Hi, my name is Paul Santamena. I'm with Physicians for Social Responsibility, and one of the things we work on uh, is climate change, energy efficiency, uh, among some other issues. And today I'm talking to John Brodigam, who is with Efficiency Maine, the director of Efficiency Maine, and he's going to talk a bit today about some of the resources that are available from Efficiency Maine for municipalities around the state of Maine. So thanks, John. Great, Paul. Good to be here. So briefly, just tell us what Efficiency Maine is. Well, if you imagine that um, there's a, a visible, untapped energy source all over the state, um, it's behind your walls, it's above your ceiling, it's in every building, um, and it would be something that's carbon neutral and clean and good for the environment, good for main jobs, good for our economy. Um, that, that resource is energy efficiency. And our job at Efficiency Maine is to get people to think about that resource, to tap into it, um, and, to, and to use it so that we get the benefits of, of uh, energy independence, energy security, reduced costs, and the environmental benefits from uh, energy efficiency. Okay, and um, specifically um, this year with municipalities, uh, my understanding is that there may be some funds available, some resources available to help them um, promote energy efficiency. Yes, that's right. We have a federal grant uh, that we are administering um, through which we will re-grant over $5 million to Maine municipalities um, for energy efficiency, renewable energy projects and planning that they may wish to do at the municipal level, uh, but they haven't had the resources to do up to this point. So we're very excited about this. This is a great opportunity for Maine municipalities. And how do folks take advantage of that? And can you just give me some more specifics? Sure. Um, we're going to have uh, two aspects to this. Uh, one piece is going to be a sort of standard, um, easily accessible, what we're calling a template grant for municipalities that haven't done much in the way of planning, don't have a lot of resources to put together a project, but would like to begin to take those first steps. So this is going to be a non-competitive uh, program. We're going to make it easy to apply. Um, we're going to encourage people to, um, to apply even if they haven't done anything yet in energy efficiency. And we're going to help them through the process and, and try to make it, try to get that money out to as many municipalities as possible. That will be capped at $10,000 per municipality. The other program will be what we're calling custom projects. And that's going to have a much higher cap, $85,000. That's for municipalities that have a good project already that they've been thinking about, that's you know, in the works, they've been doing some planning, they know what they want to do. They just don't have the resources for it. That program may be more competitive. Um, we don't know yet how many grants we're going to get. We're hoping to be able to fund a lot of these projects. Um, but that's going to be our sort of larger custom pro program. And we're working on the application forms for both of those right now. OK, um, real quick, um, what's the timeline on this? When can people first sort of get, get their applications in? and? When I'm, the projects hoping, have to start. I'm hoping that these applications will be available within the next three to four weeks. We don't have a firm timeline yet, and I mm -hmm. encourage people to check frequently at efficiencymain.org, where we will be posting all the materials and all the timelines. Um, people should be reassured that they haven't missed the deadline yet, um, and we're trying to get this out as quickly as, as we can. We need to get a few more layers of approval before we can actually release the, the RFPs. I see. So, so just real briefly again, it's it's a ten thousand dollar planning grant for municipalities exactly. that haven't done a plan yet. I'd That's say. right. And then maybe a maximum of eighty five thousand for municipalities that are at the next step, ready to do some kind of efficiency project. That's right. Okay. And and we're going to try to support uh, a wide variety of projects. So we're we're um, the the parameters are pretty broad. Uh, we're hoping municipalities will be creative. Um, we'll find something that works for them. Let me add one other thing. We're encouraging municipalities to work together with other municipalities to pr propose municipal approaches, uh, excuse me, regional approaches. Um, and the cap on the regional um, application would be $500,000 for a number of municipalities who want to work together. Well, great. And so examples of what you're looking for would be available <coughs> on, the, on the, the specifics about what projects are, are eligible, what kind of uh, plan that kind of thing would be available on the site? Sure, we will have examples of what we'd be looking for in the um, grant application materials. It might be replacing um, inefficient ma um, machinery or lighting within a municipal building. It might be a demonstration project of a renewable energy resource that might work for the town. It might be some kind of um, public education component for uh, just sort of creating an atmosphere 
that supports uh, energy efficiency in the town. Okay. Um, it could be a variety of different things. Okay, great. We've got to wrap up. But okay. Thanks a lot for coming Good. in. Good, well, Thank you. All right. Thanks.